What's up guys, Edquarters here, and today we're going to be looking at Robert Yang's Radiator 2, which is a HD re-release of three games that he made that are all about oddness, really. So we're going to start with Hurt Me Plenty, which is all about BDSM, which is great for, uh, for a video game. So you start, and I think here is the negotiation stage. You shake a hand, controlling a purple neon hat, and you decide what you're going to be doing in the next bit of the game. And at each stage, I, sh I think this is deciding what the safety word is. So we have a nice red red stop hand but I want to change that and instead we're gonna have a red stop light and this as far as I know is how all negotiation is done before any BDSM and if you you renegotiate feather touch I assume that means a little bit of light butt slapping rather than the paddle that was there before so at the moment he, he wants a little a little tickle a little tickle on the bum is, uh, is what he's aiming for and then we'll get a stop word get a stop light fantastic that's what I use and we keep going uh, what's the final one? Oh, this is going to be what are you wearing great let's try and get oh jeans no no you got to bring your A game to the negotiating table not really sure how there we go that's what we like to see and then we'll just continue shaking the hands shaky 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 and we're decided hurt me plenty short educational game by Robert Yang so now we move on to the play section uh. so we're doing some spanking it's got to be feather light so let's give it a go shall we Ooh. Look at him jiggle. Oh, he's liking that. I assume green stoplights mean that he likes it. And as far as I know, this is what happens in the real community. You emote with little neon signals that sort of come out of your armpit area, which is great. Everyone should communicate like that with armpit signals. Oh no, we're on a bit far. He's looking a bit rosy on his cheeks there. So we'll ease off a little bit. Give him a bit more. No, he still he still wants some more. Oh no. Calm down. He's got some heavy breathing going on. I think he is enjoying it despite the yellow light. We haven't got to red yet, so. We're going good. We're doing the correct amount of butt slapping. Not too much, not too little, but just right. We are satisfying his needs right here, as you can tell. He seems to be liking it, doesn't he? A little bit of... Put a little bit of colour back in his cheeks, so to speak. <laughs> Give it a bit of a rest, let him calm down. And then we'll stop that bit there. And now we move on to the, the aftercare section. We have some nice scented candles. And we're just giving him a bit of a back rub. Uh, we'll go skull. Why not? I think this works the same as the handshaking bit. Yeah, skull, why not? Skull bomb. Discussing our experience, I suppose. Skull bomb, sticky out tongue face. Fantastic. That's, that's us done then. Our little BDSM thing. And now we're going to move on to succulent. Which is kind kind of an odd one. So you got got some hunks. And you can... It's just sucking on a lollipop. There's nothing... It's nothing more to it than this. It's not deep, as he says there. It's just, just a guy having a having a suck on a lollipop. What could be the connotations of that? He's just enjoying a nice orange flavoured lollipop that plays fantastic music when it goes in his mouth. And his cheek bulges out like you might remember doing in the schoolyard as a kid. And, uh, and he's just got to keep sucking, hasn't he? 
and they can make it a bit faster. Yeah, you can wiggle it all around. I mean, the people watching behind that seem to be clones of you seem to be enjoying it. Don't they? They're just sort of holding their crotches for some reason. But why would they be? Why should they feel the need to hold their crotches whilst I'm sucking a lollipop in my pants? Is there a double meaning there? Do lollipops mean something that I don't realise? What could a lollipop signify? Oh! Oh! Is it, is it a sausage? Is it meant to be like, he's a barbecue, but it's funny because it's not actually a sausage? It's a lollipop? Uh, are you sucking it off? Ah, must be it. That must be it. Uh, is this the whole, the whole meat and ice switch? And the fantastic music just gets more and more. Oh, he's almost done now. Oh, and the people behind are starting to die. Oh, I know. I know what it is. It's a penis, isn't it? It's a penis. That's what. That's why they're enjoying this so much. He's definitely got some sort of possession going on behind him. Oh. Oh, great. Uh, so, just sucked off an orange, orange penis. How was your day? Good? Yeah? Oh, let's finish off then. Just the very end. Almost done. Um, oh my god! Oh dear. That was too much sucking. Or well, maybe it was just the right amount. We'll play stick shift now. Anyway. This is about a man enjoying sort of gay session with his car, I think. He looks pretty blissed out. I'm not sure he should be driving in this state. And uh, you can change the gears here. You can sort of give give that gear stick a little, a little gentle, gentle rub. Listen to that engine purr. And then change gear. Oh no. No, you've got to you've got to give it a bit more attention to this. You can't just go leaping ahead from first gear to second gear. You've got to, work your way into it, haven't you? Gotta just and you've got a little needle just inching its way up, just just like real life. More colourful and you just get a bit into into a safety zone and then you shift. Ah oh, yes, he is enjoying that auto erotic game. So yeah. do you like cars? I like cars. Oh not in this way, I can't say I've ever or wiped off a car. Um, no. Well, there's once a little box last year, but it doesn't, doesn't really count, does it? I mean, it, was a, it was a cheap one. It's not the same. Um, and, I mean, the car didn't do anything to me, so it's basically just a one way for me. There's no physical attraction there. Oh, uh, I'm going to shift up to the third scene, I think. I'm getting the feel, I'm getting the feel. Um, there we are. Oh, mighty up eyes. Fantastic. So I'm just cruising through the streets. Suddenly, wanking off my car. This guy must hate stop signs. Because they must just ruin the mood. We've got a break, go all the way back to square one. Maybe, maybe, he, just, maybe he just keeps driving. Yeah. But he'd love, he'd love a long long stretch of uninterrupted road, no other traffic, just him in the car, going fast. Well, not always fast, but slow, gradual build, but then just cruising, just cruising again. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take up to four from here. I bet that's going to be impressive. I can't wait for fourth gear. Fourth gear's the best bit of car sex. Is it? I don't know. Again, in Box Astra, and it was one time, and it was gone. I don't, don't really, really recall. I was probably drunk at the time. I wasn't driving the car. Oh, there we are. Oh, he definitely shouldn't be driving now. That is pure bliss. Just spinning around. Oh, oh don't kill my buzz cops. Don't kill my buzz, I was just getting into it. Oh, 
police? What are you doing? Oh, I've got to wait now. You're keeping me from the gay car sexy times. Oh, I'll blow your kiss. Oh, my time went up. Oh, it's just like real life. If you blow kisses at the heavily armed police that are standing by your car, they will just get a little bit mad and make you wait there much, much longer. But, I don't know. Screw, screw the system. I'm going to blow them loads of kisses. All of the kisses. I'll wait here all day. I'll be wasting their time. They won't want to be here. Yeah, it's just... Ooh, subtle kisses. Just a little few. Let's see how high we can get this thing. Really, you're going to hold me here a whole day, police officers. You're going to have to like, call for backup and switch over. Yeah. Well, I think we'll call that a day there. A trio of interesting experiences. If nothing else, Robert Yang goes places where others fear to tread. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.